Welcome to GTEC. Now we are going to see about magnetic effect of current. What is magnetic field? A straight wire passes through a hole made at the center of the cardboard. Here you can see the picture. A condition found in the region around the magnet or an electric current characterized by the existence of a detectable magnetic force at every point in the region and by the existence of magnetic poles. You could see that a magnetic field around a straight conductor that is carrying current has been shown. So this is called magnetic field. Here the field is strongest to close to wire and a constant concentric non-uniform field line has been shown. So the plane is maintained at a position of 90 degree to current direction. So the lines are clockwise in direction of current. So what is magnetic field? A cardboard is fixed in a horizontal plane. A circular loop of wire passes through two holes in the cardboard. Iron fillings are sprinkled over the cardboard. So the magnetic field due to a circular loop carrying current. So you could see the picture where the iron filling is arranged in the concentric circular fashion and the current is not getting flown. Now the current is getting flown since it is oh, close the circuit. So one end is positive and another end is um, negative and the current is getting flown in the direction. Now let us see about the Biot and Savret conducted many experiments to determine the factors on which the magnetic field due to current in a conductor depends. So basically Biot and Savrent are uh, scientists and based on their uh, propose, pro postulates a law has been framed. So the result of the experiment are summarized as biot savret law. Here the AB is equals to DL is a small element of the conductor. Where P is the point at a distance R from the midpoint O of AB. So you could see this. So angle theta has been maintained and AB has been taken. A current is getting passed in this direction from X to Y. So this is the small element of uh, conductor AB is the small element of the conductor and that is equals to DL DL is of differential length and P is the point at the distance of R from the midpoint O so O belongs to the AB so DB bar is given as mu naught by 4 pi that is equals to I DL vector into R cap by R square. Now let us see about tangent galvanometer. So tangent galvanometer is a device used for measuring current. It works on the principle of tangent law. A magnetic needle suspended at a point where there are two cross the field at right angles to each other will come to rest in the direction of the resultant of the two fields. So what is tangent law? Due to these two cross the field, the pivoted magnet needle is deflected through an angle theta. So according to the tangent law, B is given as BH tan theta. So if a current I passes through the coil of N turns and of radius A, the magnetic induction at the center of the coil is given as B mu naught N I to A. So 
so these are the equation 1 and this one is the equation 2 so substituting this equation 2 in equation 1 you get mu naught ni by 2 a is equals to bh tan theta so I'm having the i left side and I'm moving all those value to the right side so that I will get this 2 a in the denominator here it's in the denominator it will go to the numerator so it is i is equals to 2 a b h by mu naught n here the mu naught is in the numerator so mu naught n is in the mu numerator it will go to the denominator so 2 a b h divided by mu naught n tan theta so i is equals to k tan theta so they are making this value as constant so k is given as 2a bh by mu naught n so uh, if i am moving this k to this side so i will get the value like this so mu naught n so 2abh by mu naught n isc this will be the equation 2 equation 3 so by what Savret law expressed in an alternative way is called ampere circuitial law magnetic induction due to an infinitely long straight current carrying conductor is b is equals to mu naught i by 2 pi a so b of 2 pi a, I am just making this 2 pi a to left side. So since it is in the denominator part, it will go to the numerator part. So b 2 pi a is equals to mu naught i. Now I am replacing this 2 pi a as l. So b l is equals to mu naught i. So mu naught i naught. So I am making out this as my equation 1 again so by applying the direction it will be b bar that is b vector dot l is differential length so dl is equals to mu naught vector i naught so this will be my equation 2 so now let us see about the solenoid uh, what is solenoid a long closely wound helical coil is called a solenoid you could see the picture over here where the wire coil is in helical structure so a section of the stretched out solenoid the magnetic field due to the solenoid is the vector sum of the magnetic field due to the current through individual turns of solenoid so magnetic field associated with each single turn are almost concentric circles and hence tend to cancel between the turns. At the interior midpoint, the field is strong and uh, along the axis of the solenoid, the field is parallel to the axis. So the magnetic field is concentrated into a nearly uniform field in the center of a long solenoid. The field outside is weak and divergent. You could see that a current I is passing through the solenoid from one end to another end. Hence the equation is given as B is equals to mu NL. 